hey, this is Geek.com, and we're going to take a quick look at Ubuntu on the Nexus 7. What they've done here is released a developer preview that they filled with little bits of information that feel almost like you're using somebody else's tablet. Uh, you can see here, this is uh, just kind of the, the loading lock screen where you've got, you know, tweets received. I, I don't have a Twitter account connected to this, so I'm not sure why I have 14 tweets received, but we're going to go ahead and take a look. And when you see here, we have uh, the app screen. We've got Twitter, Facebook, eBay, Ubuntu One, uh, Facebook, Gmail. If we take a look at any of these applications, we'll have a look at Gmail. It takes us to a web app where uh, we're prompted to, to use the Gmail app for what appears to be the iPhone 5. Uh, and and that's, that's obviously not what we want. Um, so we're going to try and go to the mobile site. And uh, that's, that's basically what we're dealing with here is a, a web application for, for Gmail and Google Plus and things like that, which you know we've, we've experienced before. And this is something that Canonical's focused pretty hard on is making sure that the, the web is not a you know, second-class citizen. So mission accomplished there. You have an application that takes me to a website. We're going to go ahead and head back here. Uh, you know, browser, very much the same thing, pretty, pretty basic browser. Um, and as soon as you try and you know close it and go anywhere, it'll take you right back to the last screen. Uh, Ski Safari is a game that they uh, include in what I'm assuming is a, a, a native form, but the game never actually finishes loading. Uh, it's really just the the icon. It looks almost like a screenshot of Ski Safari on something else. Uh, but again, this is you know a developer preview meant to just kind of show the the placeholders for for applications as they run. Um, Despite this being a tablet version, they have a, a phone here, I assume, for voice over IP calling. It takes a little while for the, the phone to, to launch. And, uh, you know, so the buttons are in here fairly responsive. And it'll take me to a contact manager for, for favorites and conversations. Interesting thing about the conversations is that, you know, this is all from, you know, the, the more of the preloaded stuff that was here to, to just kind of show what it would look like if content filled here, not actually expecting you know any of this to, to be real personal information. When we take a look at the notification tray, we'll see, we can pull down and we'll see where the light shows up uh, over the corresponding icon up top for our messages, our sound, network information, battery information, including a brightness ticker and some date and time where we can control our clock and, and things like that. Uh, so the, the top part there is pretty smooth. The search button doesn't appear to work at all yet. Uh, you know, taking a look at, you know, just kind of the, the scrolling, it, it, you know, it feels fairly smooth. Um, you know, moving through all of the different pages feels comfortable. Uh, but, you know, this is all personal information that, you know, is just kind of made up. None of this really works with anything. So, We'll take a, a you know closer look at some of these applications later and see which ones you know really kind of stand out as a good experience when compared to uh, you know some of the other mobile platforms out there. I'm going to take a look at the the movies that are here. We've got uh, a couple of different movies, one of which being the the Hobbit, uh, and it takes you. You can either uh, purchase the Hobbit and Unexpected Journey, or you can rent it. And uh, so we'll try and buy it from Amazon uh, but since the Hobbit and Unexpected Journey isn't out yet I don't think that uh, I don't think that these buttons actually do anything I'm pretty sure that they just show as you go through so we'll uh, we'll head back and take a closer look at some of the things the recent music that's played we want to see uh, Donny Hathaway and again this is all stuff that isn't real, doesn't actually exist on the device. These are just kind of visual placeholders. And so what we have dealing with here, Canonical has said that they're going to uh, show more information moving forward. They're going to be releasing updates to make everything you know more usable as developers continue to work with it. Uh, but they're also going to be flashing this onto uh, phones and tablets as people bring them to them at Mobile World Congress. 
So hopefully those updates happen a little faster because if somebody goes to flash their actual phone with this, uh, they're they're going to be surprised. Uh, but this is just a you know a quick look. Obviously things are going to be evolving uh, as development continues, and now that there are so many more people involved in the project, uh, then you know the the simple bugs will get ironed out quickly. So that's just a quick hands on of uh, Ubuntu on the Nexus Seven, and uh, we'll keep on this as uh, updates happen.